ready for day three? Yeah. We're heading home. <laughs> Six, seven hours to Brennuizen. Who? Brennuizen. 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 Is it? <laughs> Norway. <laughs> For some reason, it's more organized this year. I don't know what that witchcraft is, it's but so it's organized. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. We said Unreal. we leave at 10 a.m. It is 10:22, and three quarters of the people are here. Yeah. But most people are probably watching this, going, "That's not great." But in the reality of Galag, that, that is the most amazing thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> My brief experience of Snow Tour Volume Two was very, very far from that. Where I think again, Talal would be like, "Okay, guys, ice track, 11 a.m." And by about 2.30, people will be kind of rolling in. Snow tour, day three, and we're going to Norway. Nuts. It's so cool how you can be, we were completely alone, no idea the rest of the group was around, and then all of a sudden come out of a petrol station, everyone's here. It's like a big family reunion. Expecting for anything, and all of a sudden you hear like donuts and stuff, and you're like, Oh, everyone is here. <laughs> oh, visit. Well, I'm done. <laughs> so funny man you know you look outside the window <laughs> from the, the room and you're like where are we <laughs> <laughs> the car doesn't work you know like we're facing like a lot of difficulties 10 liters my breakfast <laughs> you know i'm uh, after rescuing the brazilian guys <laughs> it was yeah. up, it was up to, uh, the car is in swedish man so like you keep on getting messages from the car like yeah, oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone's looking forward to driving today. Actually, we re getting really chilled actually driving. We got hungry. Some people still uh, sleeping. They're gonna miss. It's one person still sleeping. <laughs> no, without mentioning names. Yeah, <laughs> it's one person that's. Uh... We're all set. The car is working. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> up Dunkin Donuts and Krispy Kreme at the ferry terminal. I mean it was a bunch of donuts and um, they say cops love donuts but not these kind of donuts. My favorite part about that day was the fact that we, we had to get these sort of two consecutive ferries and we had a 15 minute drive and a 20 minute window. So it meant that we finally get to kind of open the cars up a little bit on that stretch. And yeah, that was definitely, I think, one of the best drives. The fact there was no snow, but we all got to like kind of push, push the cars a little bit.
I, I thought waking up and seeing not much snow out the window that the, the day was going to be a bit of a letdown, but oh my God, was I wrong. Norway is so unbelievably beautiful. Every turn is just like a portrait that, that, that lives with you and just gives you more energy to keep on driving and want to explore and see more. We had all the cars, everyone was driving and the sun was rising and I think it was just a, a sign that today was going to be a very good day. I think it's really cool to show the other guys what kind of beautiful country we have. Coast and the mountains, like with the tiny fjords and the ferries and like having that authentic Norwegian experience. That was probably the most gorgeous leg we've had so far. All the cars lined up. The cool thing is everyone understands each other. One person goes out to be filmed and then everyone just bunches together and it gives this epic look, but yeah. We're in North Norway. <laughs> we Dude, made it to North Norway. Way. We went all the way up. Like that Fat Joe song. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> but yeah, what a day, insane day. Uh, probably some of the most scenic driving we've done. Views were insane. The ferries were beautiful. I don't often say that about ferries, but they were beautiful. Uh, tomorrow, I think, well, we, we go back to Sweden tomorrow. I don't know how, maybe over a mountain. I'm not sure. We never know, but uh, it should be exciting. I can't wait. Fingers crossed there'll be snow outside my window in the morning. It is too early for a rally car. I mean, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. I need a few more coffees, but I'm excited for the day because it's a long scenic route of a day, which means a lot of views. So hopefully when the sun rises, which will be, I don't know when, uh, we're going to see some epic things today. So yep, locked and loaded.
morning guys. We're in uh, Nesna right now waiting for the ferry to take off. We've got about a 45 minute delay, but together is better. We're just hanging out this morning. We had a beautiful ride down the mountains, down the valley, and we're on the way to Arvester, Sweden. Goodbye, Norway. Love you. Thank you for your hospitality. Boat, surely. We're I on Alstom. So. Oh, no, no, this is where we're going. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. It's the right one? No, it's sure? the name of the boat is where we're going. Yeah, that's we're going to Alston. No, are we going to Alston? That is where like, is Alston? We're no, we're on the right boat. Alston sounds like it's in North England. Like we're on the right boat. I told Max to put it in the group. Everyone come together. You don't want to miss the ferry yeah. by a few minutes, and that's what happened. Oh, you got a great job, but it's fine. No stress. You know what I love about cats? Where there's cats, there's no rats. This time we had a rat. We had a mole in camp, and uh, somebody somebody told the police we were going somewhere, and you know they were going the other way. Here's the thing. So we leave. Um, the garage at the hotel in Morana, and instantly we got stopped by the police. They blocked us. And the police told us they have been following our stuff, looking at the videos. We're going there, and he asked us about the route. And obviously, I told him we would all take the scenic route so he wouldn't bother us. So we got a decoy in you going the scenic route where I've heard rumors the police gave you a hard time but we were fine. Um, we found out who the mole was. So I'm the mole. <laughs> We were going down the road, we were driving this road, it was the longest road ever. It was like going to visit Harry Potter or something. We took a hard right, we thought we had it, and we ended up in a snowbank. What happened, bro? No, bro. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I'm glad these are okay, right? <laughs> Oh my god. You know, we're in Scandinavia, nicest people in the world. Within 15 minutes, we were good. What happened? We went in the snowbank, had to get towed out. The all-wheel drive in this car is about a five. Yeah, the speed was good, turn was too tight. How the hell do you drive this car? Every time I passed somebody, I felt like I was holding on to dear life. The touch almost killed me. Every time I'm like, <laughs> Welcome to Arvidsjaur. Hello. <laughs> How's your day? Oh, it's been a bit long, a bit tiring, but the last road was amazing. Doing like very, very legal speed limits. Um, it was good. Um, didn't get to see as much scenery as I'd have hoped, but tomorrow is another day. Heading to the ice track, and that should be really good. <laughs> I'm happy to be back on Irish Jar. I'm happy to do some ice track antics tomorrow. Like we were literally, we're going too fast. We couldn't take the turn. And then we both went into a ditch. That's what happened. Like it was, but that's why they say that you should always be like a hundred feet away. Yes, exactly. From cars, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. Bro, at the end of the day, you know how many people slide into ditches in Norway every day? Hundreds, bro. Yeah. Tow truck guy got there in 10 yeah. minutes, bro. He does this all the time.